Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. It's Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. I'm not quite happy because it's raining. I hate the rain. How about you? Do you like the rain? If it could be 75 degrees and sunny every day of my life, I would be in heaven. Anyways, so here's a spicy little integral to warm us all up. We have Integral of 1 over x cubed times the square root of x squared minus 1 dx. As soon as I notice I have x squared minus 1, this expression underneath the radical sign, my brain starts going, ooh, it's probably trig sub time, which it is. And when you have the variable squared minus a constant, then you make the following substitution. You let x equal secant theta. And then that means dx would be secant theta tangent theta d theta. So now let's go ahead rewrite our integral in terms of theta. So dx is going to get replaced with secant theta tan theta d theta. In the denominator we have x cubed so that's secant cubed theta and then now I have square root of secant squared theta minus 1. Well, if you'll recall, which you should, secant squared theta minus 1 is equal to tangent squared theta. And when we make this trig substitution, we restrict the angle theta so that we don't have to worry that taking this square root of tan squared theta is going to require absolute value. So what do I mean by that? I mean, you can rewrite this as secant theta tan theta d theta over secant cubed theta and then we have square root of tan squared theta which is just going to simplify to tangent theta not absolute value of tan theta because we've restricted theta to only be in the quadrants where tangent would be positive okay so from here let's see we can do all sorts of lovely cancellation this secant is going to cancel with one of the secants in the denominator. And let's see what else results. We've got tan theta d theta over secant squared theta, tan theta. Cancel out tan theta as well. And secant squared theta has no business being in the denominator anymore. d theta over secant squared theta is just integral of cosine squared theta d theta. And anytime we have antiderivative of cosine squared theta, we use our half angle identity. So I'm going to replace it with 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2 theta d theta. Beautiful. And then we can just anti-differentiate term by term. I'll take the one half out. Antiderivative of one is just theta. And then antiderivative of cosine two theta would be one half sine two theta. And then I have plus C out here. Okay, remember our original integral was all in terms of X and we had made the substitution that X was equal to secant theta. So I'm going to need to draw a triangle such that secant of theta in that triangle is equal to x or x over 1. So say this is theta. Secant is the ratio of hypotenuse over adjacent. So think of it like this. Then that missing side is rad x squared minus 1, which is no surprise. You usually have this expression here, that missing side, in the original integral. Uh-huh. There it is, voila, see? And so now, in order to go back to writing things in terms of x, I'm going to replace theta with secant inverse of x. Yes, secant inverse of x is theta. But what do we do about this sine 2 theta? Notice here I have a theta triangle, not a 2 theta triangle. Well, it's time to bust out your double angle identity. So. Let me go ahead and keep things in terms of theta for another moment. So this is theta plus 1 half times 2 sine theta cosine theta, uh-huh, uh-huh, plus C. And right away I can tell, okay, the 1 half and the 2 will cancel. And then now let's go back to writing everything in terms of X. So we've got 1 half 
Instead of theta, I'm going to write secant inverse of x plus sine theta. Sine theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So that would be rad x squared minus 1 over x times cosine theta. What's cosine theta? Adjacent over hypotenuse, 1 over x plus c. Can we clean it up more? Yeah, just a wee bit. So I would write our, my final answer as 1 half. You can keep brackets. You could switch it to parentheses. I don't know. The brackets are looking cute. Let me keep them. Secant inverse of x plus, this is rad, x squared minus 1 over x squared plus c. Et voila. I don't know a lot of French, but it sounds so chic and fabulous anytime I utter a few phrases. So I hope you enjoyed the integral of the day. If you're somewhere where it's raining, stay dry. If you're somewhere where it's beautiful, enjoy the sun. And I'll catch you guys soon. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can also catch me on Instagram and TikTok at Math TV with Professor V. Bye, guys.